Hello, welcome to the Top Gear Picks review of the Power Ultra 205 multi process Arc TIG plasma machine. Stay tuned for the overview or skip ahead to the final thoughts and comments. Hello, first brief overview of the Power Ultra 205. I'll try and run through it pretty quick. Pressure regulator, this is internally tubed over to the back. I'll show you the back here in a minute. Stick, cut, TIG switch, depending on what you're doing. I'll show you more in a second. Pedal or panel switch, if you're running a uh, TIG pedal, which you can on this seven pin control here. Post flow, if you're using the, for the plasma or TIG, infinite control. I'll show you real quick. Um, if you click it on, right now it's on 220. <coughs> So right now we have plasma for a max of 50 amps on 220. If we can turn it down, you can see what we get. Running 110, you end up with about a 25 amp max. If we go to stick, you get, I believe, about 110 or 120 on 110. And since we're at 220, we've got 200 amp max for the stick and then TIG. I don't know if I checked this out on 110 or not, but you go minimum of five up to a 200 amp max on the TIG. Your post flow, up to 60 seconds of post flow. Here you have your negative, positive, I guess you call, a, call them a dense connector. Let's see what we got here. About a 3 eighths dense connector. And then here we have the solenoid actuated flow from the regulator, whether you're using argon or uh, compressed air for your plasma. Pilot arc stud. For your TIG and plasma cutter. And here you can see the seven pin control, which depending on what tools you're hooking up are gonna use different pins on the back. You can see the uh, compressed air regulator. This is the on off switch slash circuit breaker. And that's it. There's your extra ground. Um, we'll get more into the pros and cons of the machine here in the next part of the video. And accessories. I can show you all but one of them because I bought this used off Amazon and they didn't ship the TIG pedal, so I can't tell you what it's like. Came with the NEMA 650R adapter. The welder can plug in here and then it'll give you 110 capability. Cool if you have a 30 amp circuit, 20 amp circuit, it's almost, I can't say it's almost worthless, but it's really, really close just because you'll keep tripping the breaker. So now that we got that out of the way, ground clamp, it's actually pretty decent, as was mentioned, the 3 8 stents connectors. Electrode holder for arc welding. Big old dog. Has a little twist to attach. It's not the clamp style that you're used to. It does seem to work fine. And then the two fun parts. We've got a TIG torch. This is a 26 series TIG torch, air cooled, so it's the bigger torch. Has the switch here for the high frequency start. Rubber hose to bundle up both sides of this because we've got the argon and the power wire. We've also got the wire for the high freak start. So anyway, these will plug in. This goes into the seven pin connector on the front of the machine, which you saw. This is the quick release. And lastly, we've got the S45 blowback plasma torch. That's the torch. I forget, something like a 12 foot cable. Construction is similar to the TIG torch with the vinyl wrap. We've got the air, 3 8 dense. 
excuse me, pilot arc. Once again, seven pin connector. And the other last couple of accessories that I hadn't mentioned, argon flow meter. This was a ball type flow meter. Regulator inside is set to 30 PSI for the first stage. Came with a couple bits of this hose, a couple of clamps, and then you also saw the compressed air regulator on the back of the machine. Okay, this is the cutting portion of the Everlast Power Ultra 205. This is quarter inch plate and the standard, I believe, S45 torch. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, and a little bit of a stick welding portion. I am not a stick welder. However, I figured uh, maybe you'd appreciate just getting to see the fact that the machine can burn a little rod. So here we go. So I'm 7018 at 100 amps. Okay, um, go ahead and do a little bit of TIG coming up. Okay, we're shooting for a demonstration of the TIG portion of this machine. Once again, this is about the machine, has absolutely nothing to do with me. We'll see what happens. Okay, here's me, learning the TIG. This whole thing is just a little coupon with a bunch of my mess around on it. But, so that concludes the portion of showing you that the machine does actually work. One thing I did forget to mention in the original is that this does have a couple of pulse options for TIG. What they do, I have no idea. Alright, now I get to give my thoughts about this machine. Cool little machine. Everlast put together an IGBT plasma TIG stick machine for 900 bucks. Uh, try as I might, I couldn't figure out a way to do any of those for anywhere close to that price. And if I thought I was getting close once I started counting in the cost of a TIG pedal or flow meters or regulator or whatever, all the little add-on stuff, it was going to climb quickly. So I have to say kudos to Everlast for putting together a machine that you actually want uh, at a decent price, I'd say. A couple of things I do like about it. Um, I like the fact that we get TIG pedal 
option. Like I said, I bought this used. It didn't come with the TIG pedal. I do like the option. Also, the gauge is nice, being able to see without running over to your compressor or something, see what the pressure is. Nice for that, for the plasma. Post flow, kind of cool. I'm not a pro user yet, but um, I do like that I do have the capability for down the road. Little infant adjustment. I really have no issues with the machine. I like the nice little feature is the quick, conne uh, quick connect for the compressed air or gas. Stays open. So this is a one-hand operation, putting it on. Just makes it a little quicker and easier because you will be swapping it back and forth. Um, tiny little gripes about the machine. I guess I'd have a couple. I wish, um, I'm dreaming, but I do wish that the connectors were just a little heavier duty, uh, specifically these seven pin connectors. Would I pay extra for them? Probably not. Just wish they were a little nicer. I don't really expect them to be a problem, but I think uh, it would be a whole lot closer to a pro machine with a little bit heavier duty connectors. A couple other little gripes are in the back. Circuit breaker power switch, don't love that. Just as far as design, I really think it needs to have a power switch, preferably on the front, but separate the power switch from the circuit breaker in my mind. Lastly, this arrangement for plumbing in compressed air or argon from your flow meter. This is a little bit chintzy, hokey. It would be really nice if this had a valve on it and we could keep air plugged in all the time, argon plugged in all the time, and just have a ball valve or something here so we could keep this all leak free and nice. This would also clean it up, I think, on a cart, just not having to have constant access to the back or limited. Anyway, those are my big gripes with the machine. You can see they're not major. I really think they did a nice job with this machine. As far as who could use it, um, I'd say I'm coming from the garage hobbyist side. I also do some business and a couple of trades, and I'd say that you could use this to make money up to a certain point. I really even would say you could put it in a shop. I wouldn't necessarily use it as an only TIG rig or only plasma cutter, but who knows how long it could last. It could be quite a while. could make some money with it before it ever became an issue. So all in all, I really like the machine. I think it's a nice little setup, and I haven't been able to find a way to do anything remotely close to the capability that they provide in this machine for anywhere near the cost. I believe that if I shopped hard, I could spend probably twice this amount and get similar capabilities in a domestic product, but even that's going to be shopping hard and long. So anyway, I like the machine. So far, I've had it for less than a couple of weeks, so I can't give an in-depth year-long review of it. I do hope it continues to hold up. I bought it used because I had a certain amount of faith in the machine, and the fact that Everlast is going to be here for a little bit longer in case I do end up needing parts down the road. In any case, I'm happy with the capability, and I think you would be impressed with the machine if this is something that you're looking for as well. So now I hope you know far more than you wanted to about the Power Ultra 205P. Enjoy your evening.